I feel like I got the 90s vibe. I could be J-Lo. No, I'm not J-Lo. J-Lo, she didn't rock styles like this. Who, who am I, y'all? Who I look like? Who I look like? Who I look like? <laughs> Poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. Hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is kaya if you are new here if you're not you've been waiting for this video i know you have i'm back okay so if you did not see my last video i did go ahead and film my 19 month update for my diy micro locks i will go ahead and post that down below so you can go and check that out i do explain how this lock came out of my hair <laughs> but today we're gonna be fixing that problem and I think we're gonna be successful. I'm pretty sure, I'm very confident we're gonna be successful. This lock probably got ripped out of my head, I wanna say maybe like four months ago at this point. And I actually didn't get this tool, this .35 crochet hook until about a month ago at this point. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna reattach this lock back in my head using this .35 millimeter crochet hook. So just a little specs about this crochet hook. This is not a sponsored video. I just happened to be on Instagram and I saw that someone was reattaching their locks. <laughs> and I was like, I need that. Cause I ripped out my lock. So the vendor where I got this from is a, and I think this is their Instagram name, I'm pretty sure. Fur Brown Queens with a Z at the end, the number four Brown Queens on Instagram. And this is their .35 specialty crochet hook for locks. This was $16.50 and then after shipping it came to about $21. So support black businesses. But this is what the crochet hook looks like up close. I'm gonna show you. It's very sharp, I would suggest that you get something that's not as sharp if you have i would say a little bit thicker locks but because my locks are smaller and i knew i had smaller imperfections to fix this 0.35 i would say would be very good and useful for either sister locks or micro locks that are about my size and here's even more of an up close of what the actual needle looks like this is it it's very sharp so you're gonna need a few things you're gonna need obviously the hair that fell out <laughs> or if you want to use this to fix up a lock i guess i can show you guys how i can fix up a lock i'll find a lock in here that like it kind of has an imperfection on it and i'll show you how i fix it but you want to make sure you have a lock whether it's in your hand or on your head then you want to have your crochet needle they did have different sizes like i said i have the 0.35 which i would think would be great for uh, micro locks or smaller locks they had bigger sizes but i don't have that off the top of my head so i'll go ahead and link their website down below in the description if you're interested in getting this and they're also going to need a comb and some clips you're going to need some clips to separate your locks from the spot that you're either going to be reattaching your lock or um, separating your other locks from, woohoo, you trying to betray me? Are you trying to betray me? Okay, we're good. Or you're gonna need like a rubber band or something. Today I'm gonna be using a rubber band, some clips, and yeah, some rubber bands and some clips just to get my hair out the way. You also wanna make sure you get like a comb, probably like a fine tooth comb. I couldn't find a comb, so I use like the edge brush that I have that has a little comb at the end. <laughs> and I back combed, or not back combed, I combed out the end of the lock because you need some space on your lock to be able to reattach it back onto your scalp. So I have, I wanna say maybe like a quarter of an inch of the base of this lock that's exposed that I'm gonna be attaching onto my hair. And I probably have like half an inch of hair on my scalp where I'm gonna attach the lock. Y'all, and this is how you know my hair is healthy. Look at that curl. This lock has been dead on the back side of my desk behind my computer and under a container for four months and she is still healthy. She healthy. <laughs> we gonna try and get this lock back on my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. Hopefully you guys can still see me and I'm gonna try and zoom in. Um, not too much, but just enough so you guys can see how I'm reattaching this lock. So let me zoom, 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 zoom. 
Come on and zoom, come on and zoom. Come on and zoom, 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 zoom. All right, can you guys see me? Yes, you can. All right, so I, the spot where I need to attach the lock, I already found it earlier, but I lost it again. Yo, my neighbor's kids are doing the most right now. So if y'all hear some shaking noise, it's not me. Okay, so here's the spot where I ripped out my lock and I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any spare hairs that are from my other locks coming out that are gonna get trapped in this. So I'm just going to pull my locks down and clip away. Y'all, I really wanna be ghetto and take a broom to my ceiling. What are they doing? What are they doing? This part I'm actually gonna braid down I think this is good so as you guys can see I have hair missing right here and actually let me flip this the other way all right so this is where I lost my lock and I'm gonna go ahead and reattach it so all you're gonna need to do is make sure you have like your hair out a little bit and because this hair is so fine at this point it's very soft new growth i would suggest back combing it but like i said i can't find a comb so i'm gonna use my fingers to kind of do it that's going to give it a little bit of thickness so as you can see like it's not as fine as it was and then i'm going to take my lock and figure out where I want to place it as far as thickness because the hair on the lock here is a lot thicker than the hair that was there obviously so where it broke off so I'm going to just place the lock over top of my new growth now when you have your lock over your new growth sometimes people will kind of like braid it in um or roll it in I'm not going to braid it in I think that's too much because I already played with this so I'm just going to roll it in gently and then I'm going to start using my crochet needle to Go in and out with a pattern, twist the lock, go in and out with the crochet hook and twist. You'll see. All right, y'all. So I found my comb. I'm actually back combing a little bit because a little bit more because I have a feeling that the hair on my scalp is just way too fine. I mean, it broke for a reason the last time. So I'm just pulling out some more of my thicker hair and I'm getting about, yeah, this is about an inch of hair left out. So I'm going to try and connect this back to my scalp. Let's try it out. I also clipped um, some white paper on my scalp just to see if it'll hold. And I did go ahead and um, I interlocked with using another tool, that little bit of free hair that I have hanging back here. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, so I have my hair interlocked and I have this inch of my lock available so I'm just going to place the free hair on my lock like so I'm going to just place the lock on top of that hair because it's thicker than the hair that's available and I'm going to start crocheting and rolling crocheting and rolling crocheting and rolling the rolling action is going to form friction, which is going to um, make both of the hairs connect, the hair on my head and the lock. And then the motion I'm using of the tool is going to connect it on there. So now we have a pretty good thickness. So now I'm just going to use the crochet needle to further reinforce the hair to make sure that my lock stays back on my new growth. So I'm rolling the lock and going in an in and out motion. And you'll kind of know when you're getting to a point where it's solid and it's connected because your lock will feel firm. I do also like to like stick 
this in, hopefully you guys can see, and go kind of up and down. That's pushing the hairs up and down. And now my hair is connected. All right, now that the lock is connected, I don't want to crochet all the way up just because I maintain my hair with interlocking. So I'm going to go ahead and interlock this lock so that it's um, fresh like the rest of my grid. Because like I said, I got my hair done last Saturday. All right, so I'm going to take the end of my lock and let me just show you guys, like I'm pulling. This is not going anywhere. This is strong. You can even hear it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I just interlock this. I'm only gonna do two rotations. So I have the locking tool, interlocking tool on my hair. I can't remember where I got this again, but I'm gonna go ahead and do two rotations. I'm going to go up once at the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna go to the side and then I'm going to come down and that is it now that it's interlocked you could do any perfection cleanup work that you may need if you feel like you want to go back in with your crochet needle you can um, I feel a little bulge right here I don't know if you guys can see it so I'm just going to take my needle and I'm going to further just roll that until it's smooth and I feel like all the hairs are in the lock. Doesn't need much work, but I can feel it. All right, guys, and the lock is on. She is sturdy. Like this lock is on my scalp. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> and I'm yanking this pretty hard. That's how you reattach your lock. All right, so now that that lock's done, because that was really only like my only problem lock, this guy, now that she's back on, um, when my hair grows out, obviously my new growth, my stylist is just gonna interlock it like normal and nothing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take this out and let my hair down. If you don't have hair that needs to be reattached, what you could do is if let's say you have like a lock that I know for people who have sister locks, they're very particular about straight cylindrical <laughs> like locks. I personally don't care. I like the texture and the roughness and the curliness of my micro locks. So however they bud is how they bud. But if you were one of those persons that let's just say there was an imperfection on your lock that you didn't really care for, you could use this crochet needle to fix that as well. So I'm going to try and find a lock just to show you how you can use it to tighten up a lock. Needs one that's looking like a little crazy. All right, I'll show you guys this lock. Although I like the way this lock looks like, I'll show you guys just for demonstration purposes. First, I'm gonna move my hat the way. I'll clip it for you guys. So you guys see on this lock how it's kind of like a loop right here. It's kind of butted outside of the pattern and I have like all this loose curly hair down here. I started with two strand twists. I'm not asking you guys for your commentary. I'm just showing you what my locks look like. I like the way my locks look like. So when they finish budding and whatever they look like at the end, I'm okay with that. I'm just showing you. I noticed that there's like this big gaping hole here, however, and I'm not sure if this lock, I just don't like this, this gaping hole right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tool I'm gonna use this tool to pull the hairs in and kind of make this a little bit more cylindrical so this is what it looks like to begin with and I'm gonna use the crochet hook to kind of make it a little bit more smooth I'm gonna insert it with the hook side up oops right through the part I want to crochet and I'm gonna start rolling and crocheting Pull it out and you can already see immediately I don't have a loop anymore I already feel that it's gone and honestly I don't want to do too much more because I feel like this looks pretty good but all you want to do is insert the hook crochet in and out in and out roll crochet in and out in and out roll 
and pull out. And your hair is crocheted. All right, so that is the end of the video. My hair looking a little crazy, so I decided to put this hat in. If you did enjoy it or if you have any tips or tricks, if you have any questions, everything should be linked down in the description box. But if you have any further questions, you can send me an email or you can leave it down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something today, and I hope you come back. And until I see you next time, everybody have a safe, prosperous week.